Hi, my name is Clint Williamson. I'm a regional manager with Reliable Automatic Sprinkler. Today we're going to be talking about the use of nitrogen generation and fire protection. One of the biggest issues facing the industry is internal pipe corrosion, especially within dry and pre-action sprinkler systems. So one of the main goals of facility management is to make sure your building is operating and doing exactly what, and all of your employees are doing exactly what they need to be doing. If it's a production facility, you want things being produced. If it's a healthcare facility, you want patients being taken care of. When your sprinkler system is corroded and you have people servicing that and you have to shut down your normally every day to day activity, that's an issue and that costs a company money. By utilizing nitrogen as the supervisory pressure in the system, you can mitigate that loss by taking care and making sure the sprinkler system operates exactly how it was designed to. As anyone in any facilities manager knows, the corrosion issue inside the sprinkler system itself is much more prevalent in dry and pre-action systems as opposed to wet systems. There's an inexhaustible amount of oxygen within that sprinkler pipe. So within dry and pre-action systems, you always have a little bit of water, you always have a lot of oxygen, and then of course you have that exposed metal there. So anywhere in nature, if you have metal, if you have moisture and you have oxygen, you're going to have corrosion. So really you cannot get rid of the metal aspect of it in, within the sprinkler system, especially within dry or pre-action. With wet systems, you can use CVBC piping. That's not the case with dry and pre-action. So you can't get rid of the metal, uh, and you can't get rid of the moisture, even in dry and pre-action systems, there will always be some, uh, some level of moisture within the system, whether that's left over from a trip test, whether that's hot, moist air coming from an air compressor, going into a cold, unconditioned attic space or parking garage in those areas that are not temperature controlled, that is gonna, going to create moisture as well. So really the only way and the best way that this industry has found to prevent that internal pipe corrosion is by use of nitrogen as supervisory pressure. So how do you create nitrogen on demand to create that supervisory pressure for a sprinkler system? It's very simple. The air we're breathing now is already 79% nitrogen. All a nitrogen generator is doing is really taking the rest of that, that other 21% of that, the atmosphere that we're breathing, getting rid of that and creating high purity nitrogen. So the reason why we're doing that is if you limit the amount of oxygen within the pipe, you limit the amount of corrosion potential within that system. So by using high purity nitrogen to, to push back the water from the sprinkler system, you are inhibiting corrosion. So really all you need to create nitrogen is an air compressor, a source to create the air. You need some sort of separation material, whether that be a membrane or PSA technology. Those are the two ways to separate nitrogen from the air. The last thing that you really need to do is make sure that that nitrogen is flowing throughout that entire pipe. So sure, if you put the nitrogen in the, the one end of the pipe, you know that high purity nitrogen is, is there. But you wanna make sure it's flowing throughout the entire system. So one of the main things that you need to remember to do for a nitrogen system is to create some sort of, sort of purge device, some sort of testing port to ensure that high purity nitrogen is flowing throughout the system. Now, what qualifies as high purity? 98% is the industry standard. If you're going below that, testing has shown that you're really not doing enough to inhibit the actual corrosion within the sprinkler system. So 98% or above is really when you see the results and what the industry has shown through various third party testings is if you put high purity nitrogen within a sprinkler system, you can actually have the sprinkler pipe last up to 10 times as long as if you would just using compressed air as the supervisory pressure. So for instance, thin wall schedule 10 black steel, you can take from say 15 to 20 years expected service life to beyond 60 years of expected service life. Now with galvanized pipe, you can see the results are actually even more, um, or even more apparent. You can go from say five to 10 years expected life for schedule 10 galvanized piping to upwards of 150 plus years of expected service life. And that's uh, very long testing conducted by various metallurgists, various companies across the board, companies like Potter, companies like South Tech, nitrogen is the best way to inhibit corrosion throughout sprinkler piping. It's really just a matter of making sure that any dryer pre-action system looks into utilizing that. So 
one of the one of the main benefits of it is yes, there's already systems that if they're brand new systems, most are going to be putting nitrogen in from the start. That's great, but there's already systems that have been in place for say 10, 15, 20 years. What about those? Well, with that, it's really about mitigating the ongoing costs that are associated with having a sprinkler system. You, you notice that, that anyone that maintains a facility knows that the, one of the biggest headaches is having contractors come in, replace sprinkler pipe due to either leaks or a lack of pressure and an alarm goes off because of a leak, whether that's moisture leaking on say an attic ceiling tile uh, or down onto a production room floor or just because of the, pr the leak is so great that the, the system actually loses pressure. And when that happens, you're in danger of an actual system trip, a false trip, which as anyone that has experienced that knows is absolutely, it can be catastrophic, whether that's in a healthcare situation where you actually have to move patients around. From. If you have a production facility and you have to shut down any level of that production, you're going to lose profit by, by making sure that you're no longer doing what you're supposed to be in that certain section because you're maintaining the sprinkler system. These issues are mitigated by the use of nitrogen within that sprinkler system to maintain supervisory pressure as opposed to compressed air. For existing systems that have been in service and did not utilize nitrogen right from design build, right from the ground up, you can really potentially reduce costs in terms of service costs because basically if you're maintaining a system, a dry or pre-action system, because of that ongoing corrosion that is bound to happen, you may spend upwards of five to eight hundred dollars a month just maintaining that system, whether that is replacement of pipe, whether that is uh, flushing the system, having people come in for service calls. You can take that down for about five, five to eight hundred dollars just by utilizing nitrogen. So right, right up front, your costs go down about 25 percent.